Whether you want to make money or upgrade your gear, Drowax is one of the more sought after upgrade items in the game. But where do you get Drowax? Don't worry, that's what I'm here to show you. I'm Lord Kelbor and welcome to your guide on farming Drowax. If you're new here, I mainly make guides on Elder Scrolls Online, so hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. Today I'll go over two of my favorite locations for farming hide scraps in order to refine them into Drowax. I know there's a few other locations, but these are the ones I tend to bounce between depending on which one is less crowded at the time. For the first location, we'll be in the Rift. Starting from the Riften Way Shrine, you want to head to the burned up houses on the northwest side of town. We'll be hunting saber cats for their hide as well as a lot of other loot that we can sell. Most people tend to go clockwise around this farm, so that's what I do as well. There's almost always someone here, so don't be afraid to group up so that no one's taking any kills from anyone else. We're starting with nothing in our inventory, and no gold. I've also only got about three hide scraps in my crafting bag, so we'll see how much we gather at the end. Let me show you the loop here, and we'll get started with the farming. We're just going to go around and gather up these cats and kill them as fast as possible. The key to this is going as fast as you can, but slow enough so that you're not outpacing the respawn timer on the cats. As you can see, there's already someone here. If we don't group up, it could cause one of us to miss out on some of the loot, so I'll try and see if they want to group up. Excellent, now it'll be faster and easier to run this. Also, something to note, there are sort of specific spots you need to stand so that some of the cats don't give up aggro and path back to their original location. It's pretty lenient, but as you do the run, you'll learn where you can stand and where you can't. Those are the four main pulls here, so I'll run this for about 30 minutes and cut back to when I get back to town. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes and our inventory is almost full of stuff. If we sort this out by value, you can see I filled about 36 soul gems, we got some polished ivory, which is a furnishing item, and a ton of vendor trash. Some of this I'll keep, like the glyphs, I'll probably de deconstruct those for the runes. And I'll sell off everything I don't want or don't want to sell in my guild store. Now if you need basic materials, you could easily just decon all of these items instead and just sell the ornate ones. I've got plenty of materials already, so I'm just keeping what I know I can sell for more on my guild trader and those glyphs so that I can get the runes. After selling all that, we're up to about 10k gold just from the vendor trash. Okay, let's look at our hide scraps. Looks like we have almost 400. So what I do is refine them individually. I've tested this a bit with about 2,000 each time, both refining all at once and individually, and it's a little bit better odds to get drawer wax if you do them individually. I assume it has something to do with how the game rounds up or truncates the percentage chance when you do everything all at one time. So let's see what we get. Okay, we already got one. One out of 39 refinings is pretty good. Okay, that was a decent haul there. We got one Drowax, which goes for about 8 to 9k depending on your server and guild. 
So if I was selling that, I would have made around almost 19k gold for about 30 minutes of effort. And we didn't even sell everything that we got. So that's not too bad. I need to upgrade some armor, so I'll probably be keeping it this time. For the second location, we'll be heading to Benkrai and starting from this way shrine. We'll go around the lake and gather up and kill all the bears we can find. There's usually quite a few people here as well. Uh, there are some quests in this area. So we're just going to follow this path around the lake and gather the bears as we go. There's definitely some people here today. So we'll just make one loop around so I can show you the direction I take. But one of the main reasons I like this spot is there's a whole lot of harvest nodes in this area. Uh, everything from wood to ores and alchemy ingredients. There's also quite a few insects around here, so butterflies and torch bugs. So you can get quite a bit of bait as well as some of the other alchemy ingredients from, from the insects. Okay, that's the end of the bear loop. So those are my two favorite locations for farming drill wax. I hope you found this guide helpful. If so, smash that like button so that YouTube knows I did something right. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.